Did you know that Salesforce Commerce Cloud is now fully on platform? As of June 2021, Salesforce has launched their world-class e-commerce platform 100% on the Salesforce Cloud. And in this video, I am going to demonstrate the Salesforce B2B2C Commerce Cloud user experience. We're also gonna take a quick peek into the admin panel for the Commerce Cloud, and we are gonna show you Chargent for Commerce Cloud and how it seamlessly integrates all of this to CyberSource for you. My name is Makaya and I'm from Chargent. If you're considering Salesforce Commerce Cloud to improve your organization, then you're in the right place. At Chargent, we focus on making payments available everywhere on Salesforce Clouds. We started in the Sales Cloud over a decade ago, and today we support Revenue Cloud, Experience Cloud, Community Cloud, and as of Summer 21 release, we fully support Commerce Cloud on platform. We support the three primary applications on the Commerce Cloud, including Salesforce Order Management, B2B Lightning, and the consumer-ready B2B2C Commerce Cloud. We know that the people that watch these videos, we know that you want to learn. And we have taken a deep dive with our most successful customers to create a new guide for you on automating your recurring billing. So download that guide now. Use the link in the description of this video. All right, let's go ahead and get into the demo. First off, let's take a look at the consumer e-commerce experience. Here, I'm gonna be acting as one of my favorite artists, Nina Simone. And Nina is a regular customer, and today she's looking to buy her pre-workout green tea drink from the North Trail Outfitters website. All right, once her items are in the cart, she heads to checkout, and she is logged in, so her shipping details are pre-populated for her. She confirms her preferred shipping method, and next, she enters her payment details, and she clicks place order. Whoa, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. Well, dear viewers, should we fix this for Nina? I think we should. To find the issue, we're gonna put on our Salesforce admin hat and head to the Commerce Store admin panel for our NTO store. Here, I click the Store Administration tile. Next, I choose Card Payment Gateway on the left. The page clearly tells me that no integration is selected. Let's link an integration. Here, I will choose Chargent CyberSource and then just confirm the integration. Putting my customer hat back on and acting as Nina, I will try again. Well, all right, that worked just as expected and I'm quite jazzed about it. Now that Nina has submitted her order, it's time for the order management team to take action. Let's go ahead and see what their workflow looks like. The order management team has a Commerce Cloud app just for themselves and it's called Salesforce Order Management. Here on the order, in the order payment summaries, the manager is able to see that Nina's payment has been authorized, in this case, for $35.09. As I see the details in Salesforce, I know that if I were to jump over into the CyberSource merchant panel, I will see the payment authorization there. And sure enough, here it is, the same authorization with the required reconciliation details right here in CyberSource. Now in your day-to-day -day life as an order manager, you're likely never gonna go into CyberSource. That, it's really for the accountants that are busy doing the reconciliation. All right, now we are back in Salesforce order management. And my last action on this order as the order manager is to set the order to be approved. The next step in this e-commerce process is to have the fulfillment team pick and pack the order to be shipped. And when they're done, the fulfillment agent clicks the fulfilled chevron and clicks the mark as current status. Here on my order payment summary, I see that the 3509 for this fulfilled order has been captured. My job here is done. And just to put a bow on this for our esteemed colleagues in the accounting department, we will jump into CyberSource just to show you that the payment was captured successfully here also. And right here, I wanna stop and I wanna note that Nina put in her payment details and then at no other point did the order management or the fulfillment team need to think about payments at all. You'll note that they never clicked a capture button. This is what frictionless payments look like. For the teammates working the order, they can trust but verify that the payments were handled correctly. The accounting team can clearly see the payments and reconcile them as needed. And just to tie this up neatly, I want you to see that our integration also ties easily into the Lightning B2B Commerce application. You can see here that I'm in a store we call Chargent B2B. As the UI is as close to as possible as it was in the B2C admin panel we saw earlier, I follow the same click path to link a payment gateway. 
Want to see that demo? Great. Subscribe to this channel now. We are going to fully demo B2B Lightning in another video here. Chargent for Commerce Cloud makes gateway integration a snap. As of the filming of this video, we support CyberSource and Stripe. We're currently working on Adyen and many others. Making gateways in Salesforce easy for you, that's what we do. Get in touch with us today to solve your payment issues. And now I want you to check out this next video here. My name is Makaya and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you make your payments simple. And remember, at Chargent, we are always here to help.